Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 7th of June 2021. So we will discuss the questions which came in the quiz contest and you should know this quiz contest is conducted every week on Monday on this platform to know something about our environment and to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrance examination. So those who want to know the rules for this quiz contest, you can pause this video and go through all these rules because you can be the top performer of the month by participating more and answering more questions correctly. So before revealing the results, let's discuss the questions first. The first question was, under the Rhino Relocation Project during the 1987, in India the Rhinos were introduced in which of the following states? Here the correct option will be, they were introduced in Assam. Which is why the Assam is having the Manas Tiger Reserve is having the more number of rhinos in India. Let's move to the next question. The second question was the reed swamp stage is also referred to as what? So this question was asked from the ecological succession and the reed swamp stage is also known as amphibious stage. Yes, this stage is seen in the case of hydrox succession. That means the succession which begins in the water and here it occurs in the shallow water and it is characterized by the presence of amphibious plants. So amphibious plants are those kinds of plants which are having the characteristics adaptation for both land and water and the example is mosses. So let's move to the next question. The next question was the alpha diversity refers to the diversity within a particular area or ecosystem and is usually expressed by which of the following term. So here the alpha diversity in the ecosystem is usually expressed by the species richness. So most of the students are confused between species richness and species evenness. So these are very important terms we will know in the next slide. So with the help of this photo we will be able to know these terms very easily. So here in left hand side we have the sample A and in the right hand side we are having the sample B. So in case of sample A it shows more species richness than sample B. Why? Because there are more number of different kinds of species. So more different kinds of species means here you can see butterfly, here we are having this insect, dragonfly and then we are having the beetle. But here what we are having, we are having only ant and butterfly. So only two different species are there. That's why it is less species rich and here three different kinds of species are there. Here it is more species rich. And to know about species evenness, we will also compare both these samples where we see that here there are number of butterfly present are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 butterfly present whereas dragonfly is 1 and beetle is 1. So you can see there is no evenness in the number of different species but in case of this sample B we can see here there are 4 butterflies present and 4 and are present. So here they are evenly distributed the species population have the evenly distribution that's why it is having the greatest evenness and it is having the lesser species evenness. So I hope we are able to clear this doubt that is species richness and species evenness. So let's move to the next question. The next question was a majority of the antibiotics are derived from the actinomycetes which comes from the members of which of the following genus. So here most of you are confused and you have selected the actinomyces but here the correct option will be option number B streptomyces are the members which are having the maximum majority of the antibiotics derived from the actinomycetes so the genus will be streptomyces so streptomyces you should also know other bioactive secondary metabolites like the antibiotics what they are doing is they provide us antifungal they also provide us the antiviral and anti-tumorals that is the tumor against the tumors that is anti-tumoral as well as the immunosuppressant so they are very important in the medical system let's move to the fifth question the fifth question was which one of the following is the microsymbiont in the azola anabina symbiosis so here the microsymbiont will be option number B anabina and the macro that means macro macrosymbiont in this symbiosis will be azola and you should also know this kind of symbiosis is very important and it is oftenly asked so here you should know that anabina gates habitat from the azola azola is the fern which provides habitat to the anabina and anabina is the blue green algae which provides nitrogen that is food to the azola that is the Fern. So you should remember these things. Let's move to the next question. The sixth question was which group of following factors determine the discharge of a stream? This question came in UGC net examination and here the correct option will be option number A. 
Yes, because the width, depth and velocity determine the discharge of any streams. These three things are important factors for the discharge of a stream. Let's move to the seventh question. The seventh question was from the volcano and the question was the giant volcano craters are also known as what? So here the correct option will be the giant volcanic craters are known as caldera and what are these craters and caldera we will know with the help of a simple example. So let me draw a volcano. So this is the drawing which is for the volcano. This is not perfect but you should imagine this is volcano and this mouth portion is called as the crater of any volcano and the crater which is giant which is larger in size is known as the caldera and the largest caldera found in our earth is found in Tanzania which is the Gorongoro caldera that is the Gorongoro volcano which is present near Tanzania is having the largest crater that is caldera. Let's move to the next question. The next question was severe drought is declared if what condition prevails. So here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, in any place where the deficient of rainfall is more than 50% of the normal then that place will be called as the it is having the severe drought. Let us assume that there is a place where the average rainfall is 100 millimeter and the 50% that is half of the average value is what that is 50 millimeter. So in some year if the rainfall is lesser than 50 mm then that year will be called as the severe drought year for that place that is deficit of rainfall is more than 50% of the normal rainfall. So let's move to the ninth question. The ninth question was air pollutant which is mostly emitted by the diesel driven vehicles but not by the petrol driven is what. So here the correct option will be option number B. Sulfur dioxide is the pollutant which is mostly emitted by the diesel driven vehicle but not from the petrol driven vehicles. Let's move to the final question of this quiz contest. The 10th question was from the environmental impact assessment that is EIA. The question was asking that if the EIA indicates that the another state is likely to be affected, the state in which EIA is planned has to do what? So let us take an example that there are two states that is A and B. So A has planned to do some projects and A has got the EIA that B will be affected with the project which A is going to do. So what A should do? So A state will transmit this data, this information to the affected state which is going to be affected here it is B with relevant information from the EIA concerning it. So I hope you are clear with this. Now it's time for the results. So nobody was able to secure 10 out of 10 marks but Sohawani and Nimis are the top performer with 9 out of 10 marks. Congratulations to both of you and other participants who have also done well are Shivani Jain, Deepshika Gupta, Akshay Bharadwaj, Mahima Pandey, Alka Jain, Annie Lin, Gita Sarma, Sanjit Kumar, Anurag Bera, BK Sahu, Diksha Pandey, Rahul Kumar, Fatima Muhammad, Beauty Tiwari and Barkha Biz. So congratulations to all of you and keep it up. So to extend your preparation, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon to get all further updates. So you can join our telegram group also for the regular quizzes and Instagram for the current affairs. See you guys in our next video.